And here's Mary. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So many congratulations on Thank your you. win. Fantastic. And we were just wondering if you could perhaps talk us through the story and yeah, how it yeah, was made. As much as I can. Come yes. on then, go for it. Um, so myself and Anne Kiley have worked together on a few quilts at this stage. And Anne is a textile designer. She does amazing work. And she decided that she wanted to try a different approach. Whereas in the past she screen printed the imagery. This time she made etchings on paper, which she then digitally um, processed and it works with digitized images of the etchings. So it's a very different effect from screen printing. And we, she talked to me about the design and we, we had chats back and forth while she was working on the layout and the, the design of the, the fabric. And then the fabric was printed and it came to me and we I laid it out on the wall and we talked about it and made sure we were both happy with the design and then it was quilted. So it was originally made for an exhibition in Cork called Earth, Wind and Fire uh, Contemporary Craft in Cork. And the imagery is um, reflective of this theme and it's about symbols around Earth, Wind and Fire. So okay. the bowl is a symbol for Earth, the salamander here. There's another sound. There's two more, one in stitch and one in print down the bottom. There are symbols for fire and bees and the lines are symbols for air. And um, the quilting then reflects this as well. So the quilting is responsive to the imagery. Yeah. And there's lots of symbols as well in the quilting. Um, it's also the third of a series we've done which reflect our, our impact, I suppose, on nature and our relationship with nature. So the first was about looking at the looking at our world from an aerial view and um, the fields around us and the, the marks made on the land. The second was about what's in our back garden, mm -hmm. and this was global. So um, of course, there's consideration about man's impact on the world and will there be a world and I suppose that nature will win out and um, the bees are crucial to this and the, the growth of grass I suppose is an indication that nature will thrive given the opportunity and the triangles the triangles of lines through them and the circles of lines through them are all symbols for earth, wind and fire I will confess I don't know at the top of my head which are which at the moment. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and um, we have the three faces of man on the, the three globes. There's youth, middle age and, and old age. And we have man down here in the corner and woman up on the left hand side. And Yeah, and how long did it how long did it take you to to make or in well, total? Anne worked on the design, and and she's um, she's great for taking lots of time and thinking about it and making changes and adjustments and fine tuning. Yeah, I'd say she spent at least six months working on the design, maybe seven months. Yeah, and then I spent about two two and a half months quilting. Wow, so a uh, long time. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think lots of thinking time in that as well though. And there's always a where do you go next because you don't start at the top and just work your way down or start at the bottom and work your way up. Yeah. It tends to be a little bit here and then a little bit there and thinking about what might work in between. And it's quite an unusual shape as well. Was that was that intentional um, or is that just yes. the way it evolved? No, that, no, that all of the quilts we've done have been that way where they've been a slightly unusual shape. Yeah. Um, it's, I think the, the first quote we did was very Mondrian inspired mm -hmm. with the irregular shapes that would go with that and that's just continued. Um, it's a challenge though because it's 20, I think 20 corners to turn it. <laughs> yeah, good. definitely. Because you, you did a facing did you and then just turned it to the black or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So the outer uh, the outer corners are grand, they're no problem, but the inner corners are a little bit Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And was that your job? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the quilting was my job and the hand stitch was most and did the bullion and French knot and I did the any of the the seed stitching and lines and the finishing I think I did all the finishing of this one. We, we have another quilt since it's, we've worked with each other. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And so what happens to it now? Um, we'll send it to other exhibitions, hopefully. Uh, we have a couple of quilts left over from the other projects, which are still floating around. And we just share the ownership and if, they, if they haven't sold. And um, as they kind of live under the bed rolled up, <laughs> as many of our quilts do. <laughs> but we'll probably try to send this one abroad to other exhibitions. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, many congratulations once again. Thanks a million. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah.